Okay, hey YouTube, it's Chris Price Productions here with a very, very quick tutorial, because I need to shove it along a bit. Um, now, I realised one of my mates had a mate, and he had his iPod, and it came up saying, this iPod um, has been uh, disabled, try again, in 22 million minutes, which was 40 years, around about that. Um, so then I looked on, t on the internet for a solution, didn't find one, obviously, because people can get really stupid but um but everyone is asking about it so i thought i'd do a quick tutorial on how i found out to do it um i was just playing around thinking how can i do this and then i thought well you know what i'll jailbreak it and then restore it because when i go into itunes like everyone says to do and um uh plug it in and hit restore um it comes up saying that it's not el el eligible for the requested build just as if you have jailbroken it but because it isn't jailbroken you can't do anything uh, with tiny umbrella so I thought we'll do that um, and then because like the latest version of red snow is um, actually really cool it's got loads of different features you go and actually got all of these if you go in even more Got restore identify backup DFU preferences. And I saw this and I thought, oh, restore. Then I click restore. And that quits iTunes. And uh, this is my screen flow here. And screen flow. And screen flow. And that. Um, yeah. And then, um, so, yeah, what you want to do is you want to grab your iPod. You don't. What well, I didn't plug it in yet. And I'm not going to do it again, because I've already done it, and that would be a waste of time. So, I click IPSW, look for, if you've downloaded one off the internet, off of Safari, it will most likely be in your downloads folder. If you've downloaded it through iTunes while trying to restore it, you can still get that. Now, that is located in, here, press go at the top, hit Alt. Now, this is only for line and up. And what I meant by that was, you can still do it on any operating system, but you only have to press the option for library to come up online and up. So don't get worried, you can still carry on. So keep watching. Because with macOS X Lion, they hid that library. But if you hit Alt or Option, it says Alt on the keyboard, but you know, it's actually called Option. Um, and then that appears, you can see. Uh, so you want to hold it, hit library, let go. You want to scroll down to iTunes. If you if it's an iPhone, iPhone. If it's an iPod, iPod. And there it is. And then you think, well, how do I get to it there? Well, so you just drag it over. And it will navigate to it. And then you click open. And then it says connect iPod 4.1 to continue. Because that build is for the iPod uh, 4.1. Well, it's not 4.1, but that's what it's technically called. So, um, what you want to do is you want to connect it, but if you had the problem with it, oh no, that's not good. Uh, yeah, so I've just yanked that out now. That's not going to be uh, very good, is it? But anyway, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, so I just plugged it in then, and that happened. But it says working, but it really isn't because there's no iPod connected. But, um, let me just go away. Where is it? Okay, so, um, yeah. And then when you select the IPSW, if you have saved. Um, what you need to do is you can need to connect your iPod, and if it's got that lock problem, you want to put it in DFU mode. So you want to hold the top button, the uh, sleep slash wake button, for three seconds. And then you want to slide the power off. And when you're on that menu, when you're, not menu, sorry, when it's off, you want to hold down the um, sleep slash wake button for three seconds. And once you've done that, don't let go of it, but hold down the home button, the not the uh, button that gets you back to your home screen. Uh, hold them both together 
for 10 seconds. And once 10 seconds has passed, let go of the sleep slash wake button on the top. Keep holding, and, this, um, and you will hear a noise from Red Snow, or um, iTunes will pop up saying it has um, discovered a device in recovery mode. You must restore it to use it with iTunes, or um, and it will have a b- black screen. You won't see anything. That's when you know you've done it right. That's that's DFU mode. That's not recovery. That's def- device firmware update. And then it sees it in Red Snow. And then if you have saved your SH SH blobs, uh, you don't really need to uh, know what that means. But if you have, then you you should be able to click on local and find them. Otherwise, remote should pop up. Click remote. It'll find them. It'll put them onto your um, device. Uh, restore it with the like, just like iTunes would, except it actually does it. And um, it will be restored, and it will be just ready for use. Um, and then if you try and uh, restore it again with iTunes, it won't work, unfortunately depending on uh, which one you use, which iPod and um, device firmware you use, because Apple only signs some of them anymore, so if they don't sign them, then that means iTunes will just not be able to pick them up if, um, well, yeah, it won't, it won't be able to pick them up it, like just from an external one like this. So um, that won't work. And that'll only the only way you can work around that is if you go in Tiny Umbrella and set uh, to get all SH SH blobs from Cydia. If that doesn't work, you can't do anything. Uh, but it does put it back to normal, and it's fine. But from now on, that is through Red Snow is the only way to jailbreak it. Now, I will put all the everything you need in the bottom. The links to Red Snow. Um, and all of the different things you need, put it in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, just write in the comments below, and I will get back to you. I'm not one of those people that don't, and um, just ignore you. I will get back to you, and I will uh, try and help you solve it. But this is the way it worked for me. It worked on um, an iPod Touch. Uh, I'm not sure which generation it is, because it's my mates. Um, But it was on the 6.1.3 version. And that's pretty recent. So, um, yeah. So, that's how it worked for me. And your 40-year lock has now been solved. So, thanks for watching. And I will um, see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.